What's up crew, I'm Alan, and in this episode, I crash hard enough to do this to my front tire. This isn't just a story about crashing, this is a story about getting warnings, not listening, and then paying for it. That being said, I still had a rad day on a bike, and if I can have a rad day on a bike, so can you. Our adventure begins at Snow Summit. So chunky oh, right chunky. there. Chunky. Oh my god! I lost my front wheel right before that first paver turn. I dumped like right on the inside of it and then almost went off the right side. Dude, I was all over the place. So yeah, that was the first warning. crew sorry to interrupt but i couldn't wait any longer to make this announcement if you look down there you'll notice it says giant that's because my new bike sponsor is giant bicycles they're going to be providing me with bikes they're going to be supporting me i'm stoked on them they're stoked on me what this means for you is you're going to be getting more content for me in more places and on different bikes and a whole bunch of stuff that i'm going to be announcing in the future but i just wanted to make that announcement really quick another quick thing as odi has come on board as a supporter of the channel and they're going to be supporting me uh with cool grips like the ruffian and the ag2 from aaron Gwynn and a whole bunch of other stuff so apparently with a bunch of cool apparel as well uh yeah so i'm stoked on that uh i'm stoked on doing all the stuff yeah so let's get back to the content Yeah, Steve. <laughs> yeah.
Oh shit! It's a place on earth. Got these holes. Yeah, warning number two. We're good though. Dead leg. Me, this spot and dead legs. After that crash, I started giving myself some negative talk and you can hear a bit of that coming out here. Come on. What I really needed to do was take a breath and reset because there was still a lot of trail left. Yeah, OTB. Did you? Yeah. Oh shit. I just what? got caught up like in that first little rock garden. It's changed. Yeah. Everything was different today. Yeah, it was a little different. I couldn't clear any of those jumps. The headwind was gnarly. Yeah. And the first couple corners that I tried to rail and hit the hole, like, oh. Yeah. This is different. Big holes. Steve split off to go hit some more gnarly trails and I headed back up to get some flow. I really didn't want to end the day on a crash and all I was thinking was I wanted to get in one smooth run. But as we'll see, that kind of mentality can get you into trouble. I'm good. One last time, but listen for the squeak. That's my wheel turning while my handlebar stays straight. Yeah. That was bad. Look at my front tire, dude. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, so that was definitely the end of my day. I was okay. I definitely got lucky, but 
Don't be dumb like me, listen to the clues, stop while you're ahead, and also check this content right here. It's me being dumb or maybe even being a little bit smart. Check out that subscribe button, hit the like button if you dug this, and until next episode, go have a rad day. I think I like bottomed out the fork and then went onto my balls right here. That's where I went onto my balls. <laughs>